Hey guys, on today's video, I wanted to go over an issue that I ran into. I was thinking that maybe you guys were having the same problem. Since making my first uh, Clipper installation video on installing it on the Ender 3 V2, uh, it seems that Clipper has changed some things that uh, breaks either the previous installation or possibly even a new installation. I haven't done one recently, but I want to show you what's uh, happening here. Okay, so to update the current version of Clipper that you have, if you're running the original one from my earlier video, uh, you want to click over here where it says machine. And uh, in the update manager, you want to click this little uh, arrow. And it's going to show you all the all the current updates available now. Right now I'm running main sale version 2.2.1, which was the version available at the time of setting up this printer. But you can see there's a lot of uh, a lot of updates. So there's 103 packages can be upgraded. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update all. And this will take a few minutes to update. In the meantime, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell, and leave some comments. I love reading the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I see them. All right, when it's done with the update, you're going to get this connection failed. All you got to do is just click on try again and close it. And uh, okay, and then you're going to see you're going to see this message here, right? That tells you that Moonraker requires pseudo access to complete the update. Because right now, if you go over here to machine, uh, it's missing. It's missing some stuff. So from the dashboard, just go back to the dashboard, copy this URL here, open a new tab, drop it in there, press enter, and then you're going to put in your Pi password here. Click on submit. And it says uh, you may close the window and return to the front end. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go back over here. Click on try again. And it looks like we're back. Let's Go down here to machine. Okay, so right now, let's refresh this. So try reloading this page. And there we are. All right, so now we're, we're, we're back, back in business. All right, so if you run into that problem, that's how you solve it. Uh, this was a kind of a quick video. Uh, so let me point out something real quick here before I depart. Before, if you had to do a, you wanted to change your Z off, you would have to put in uh, like test Z and all this other stuff. So you can just click over here, the little question, do a search here for probe. I'm just going to type in probe. And uh, right here, we want to probe calibrate. So I'm going to click on it. Click the send button. And now you get this pop-up menu here. So before we had to type in test Z minus Z and all this, right, to get the, to get it to make the changes. Now you got this cool little menu here that you can use to adjust your Z offset. But anyway, I thought maybe you guys would find this interesting. There's a lot of cool little nuggets like this in this update. Uh, and I'm still learning what they are. Guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell and leave some comments. I love reading the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I see it. All right guys, take care.